Steve with Prograss, and this is Naomi, and we're here today to look at some paver patio work, and Naomi is going to review a little bit about the process of installing a paver patio and some reasons why you might consider one. So, Naomi, why are these people uh, using us to put this patio in? The reason why is they wanted more accessibility around um, their existing patio. Um, so we created just a little bit of a pathway and a small circular patio to create that for them. Mm -hmm. And it's, like it's trying to match an existing pa uh, patio on the other side of the yard. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also a concrete, a poured concrete patio. Uh, what do you do to make sure things match? Um, typically we would just do some power washing um, initially uh, to get it all cleaned up to help match that process. Okay. okay. So, um, you know, I'd like to look a little bit about how we're uh, installing the patio in terms of how it's being put in and what the process is. So let's take a look over on the other side and see what they're doing. Okay. Uh, Naomi, what are we doing here? What exactly is the process step? Well, the process, uh, first of all, was to excavate this area out um, and start our um, grading for our pavers. Um, obviously, we have a little bit of leveling issue, so we had to build a little retaining wall to keep this back end level with everything else. So if you do decide to put something on here, you're not falling back. Um, the first step is to excavate about seven inches down and we do a rock base on that and compact um, and then we do a sand base on top of that rock uh, for drainage for those pavers um, and then we start to lay our pavers. So below the sand is actually drain rock? Yep. Yeah, because drainage is really important in a paver patio and that's one of the things that I really like about it versus solid concrete is the drainage is, is amazing. Mm -hmm. So now that these blocks are being laid in a circular pattern, um, after those are all put in place, what's the, what do you do after that? After they're all put in place, we'll do another compaction on top of that, and then um, we will go ahead and re-sand inside these joints here to keep these pavers uh, nice and tight. There's a couple different products you can use on that. You can use regular sand or a sand lock that helps uh, keep these joints a little bit uh, tighter. Mm -hmm. what, what I think uh, one of the biggest benefits to a paver patio is that if, if you get any damage to it as well, the blocks can be removed. Uh, it does require pretty much no maintenance. Uh, I, I have a patio that's eight years old, and other than an occasional pressure wash, there's really no care to it. So, and compared to say a wood patio, which would or a deck, which would require a lot of care. Yep. And so, um, when this is compl completed, uh, you'll also have a walkway. It looks like going to the to the side of the patio there. Yep, we have our little patio. It's about a five foot circle we're doing, and then that pathway is going to go up onto the existing uh, concrete patio. Um, that's there. Okay, and how long would this whole job take to be completed? Uh, just for the pavers right now that we're doing about two days. Two days? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like this is a, a, gonna be a nice paver patio. We'll be back in a few days to take a look at it when it's completed, and uh, we'll take a look at it then. Well, Naomi, it looks like you finished up the project here. It looks really good. So, uh, what were the final steps that you did uh, since we were here last? The final steps is we um, laid the pavers, and then after the pavers were laid, we did a compaction on top of those pavers, and then we um, also did a sand lock in the joints to uh, fill that up. And how do you get the sand into the into those tight little cracks? Uh, what we do is we kind of just throw some sand on top of the pavers, and then we broom it in. Um, and then after the brooming is done and those joints are filled in, we clean off the top of the pavers. Um, to make sure that we don't leave any sand on top. Mm -hmm. And how do you get the how do you get the sand down deeper, and how do you get it to firm up like this? Is it do you wet it down, or we wet it down after we're done? We just make sure we got all the sand off the top of the paver, mm -hmm. and then that sand lock has an adhesive in it that keeps it locked. Mm -hmm. And how long does does the customer have to stay off it before it hardens? I would say within 24 hours. Okay, good. So it looks really nice. It looks like the, you made a nice connection to the main patio there. It looks nice and level, and it blends in really well. And you know, I like the uh, the circular pattern and uh, how it t ties into the, the pathway there. It looks really nice. Yes. And I see you finished off with some plant material here as well. So uh, can you comment on that a little bit? Oh, we just did some plant material around the hardscaping to soften things and to be able to have the customers enjoy the patio with some color. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be like a sitting area? Yes, it's mm -hmm. a little sitting area. Good. Well, I think this is a great place for them to spend some afternoon time in the, in the fall, especially under the tree with some nice sunny afternoons, hopefully, and yes. it looks really good. So, you know, if anybody is ever interested in getting more information on patios or construction or any kind of sitting areas in their landscape, be sure to give us a call. Uh, you can contact us at 1-800-PROGRASS or at progress.com.